Hey, good afternoon everybody, it's Barry again, coming to you with some weekly trade ideas. Today is Sunday, November 22nd. I want to start with VRX. Had a really nice move up here off the 70, 50 area down at the bottom. Real nice bullish engulfing over here, gap up. And another gap up push. Um, <coughs> except in that I am seeing some resistance over here, so I'm feeling like... Um, I'm feeling like it's going to pull off this 91 area back to about maybe uh, mid 80s or so. And um, then we could probably get some more upside to this move. But it definitely is going to come back down a little bit of this move over here. So I like VRX on the short side for the early uh, part of the week. And uh, maybe even one day VRX pulls a lot, you know, in one day. So let's see what happens. Pulls or pushes. Uh, let's see what happens with VRX. But I'm a little short biased right out of the gate on Monday. Um, <coughs> next one is ICPT. Um, I'm thinking it goes up a little bit more, maybe up to about 176 or so, and uh, so we're at 170.69 right now. So I'm figuring maybe another two or three points to the upside here, and then she should probably fade down some more. So I'm looking for a uh, a bigger move downside on ICPT. So. Let's see a couple a couple more days, or maybe one more day, depends on how it trades. Up to about 176 or so, then I'm more short biased on ICPT. Uh, next one on my list is MCRB. I am uh, I'm looking for being that this came off this one two three, sorry one two, and then broke across the downtrend over here. I'm more long biased on this chart over here, but it needs a retest over here at about uh, 32.75 area. So I'd like to see a retest around 32.75, and then I'd definitely be really bullish on this chart over here on MCRB long. CYBR. I am definitely um, bullish on this one short term over here, looking for maybe short term target to be about $45. And then after that, I would need to see some real strength coming in. Um, stochastics are down low. MACD's curling up and volume's coming in. So I'm definitely a little bit bullish coming into this week with CYBR. Next one on my list is PANW. Uh, I definitely need to see a pullback here. It's definitely um, hidden some resistance areas over here. One, two. So it's definitely hidden some resistance areas over here on this downtrend. So I'm definitely looking at some pullback to maybe about to maybe about 167 or so. So I'm looking for maybe three or four points pullback here before we see any sort of move to the upside. Um, so that's what I'll be looking for on P A N W. Um, Coles K S S. I'm definitely bullish this one. This one uh, came over to 50 over here on Friday's session. So. I would like to see a nice pullback down to about 46 or so, and then I'd definitely be um, I'd be a little stronger with the chart. But I'm I'm d I'm bullish for the most part on KSS. Just need to see a nice pullback for an entry. Let's do CTRP. This hanging man up top here is just giving me a a nice uh, I want to short you type of look. So I'm I'm short if it gaps down any off this top. And I would like to definitely see a pullback on this chart over here, maybe to about a hundred or so, or even more. I mean, this chart's way up there, so it's way far away from the 50. Now 50 is all the way down at 77, and far away from any other moving averages. Huge gaps to fill down here and over here, so I'm definitely short on CTRP. CHKE. I'm bullish on this one. It's over the 50 over here came back all the way down here under 50 reclaimed the 50 over here all these really nice hammers over here tell me that the the bulls are ready to make a move on this one broke the uptrend over here on Friday session so I would like to see a pullback maybe to about 1850 or so it should be right about here and then we can take some of that long let's see how that works um, VTL I'm bullish on this one I like that. I like that flag breakout over there. I'd like to see a pullback, maybe to about seven for seven ninety-five, eight dollars, somewhere around there. And then I'd be bullish on this one also on VTL. Uh, my price on this one would probably be about over ten, maybe ten to eleven, somewhere around there. See if we can get that. <coughs> 
Neos, I like this over here. It's a very nice um, channel trade. So, it's got to obviously come up to the 50 over here, which sits about 16, $16.63 right now. So, I'd like to see a little pullback on this one, maybe to like low 14s. And then we we'll take some long first price target will obviously be around that sixteen dollars, so about a two point um, gain on that. If we can get a nice pullback over here and stay in the mid range of the channel, so what we want to see is the halfway of the channel to to hold as support for us there on this NEOS. As far as the markets go, so that's my ten trades for the week. I, I could get a lot more, but I, I feel like ten trades is a lot to to work with. Uh, as far as the market goes, this is Spy over here. Spy is putting up a couple, um, couple dojis up on the top here. So I'm not too confident about the uptrend right now. Um, but I want to see what happens uh, this coming week. I am also long on UVXY, and she broke down a little bit, but still holding that trend for the most part. So. As long as it keeps that trend, I'm fine with it. If it if it does break, then I'll get out of that long position on the UVXY. So, anyways, guys, thanks a lot for your time. Hope um, hope this can help you out with with some trades this week. Um, last week's trades, I'll try to review that this week and see if I can maybe make a short video about that. So, anyways, thanks again for your time. Um, and if you want to trade alongside with me at any time. My name is Barry. I'm a moderator at AwesomeCalls.com. So you can find me trading there Monday through Friday. Take care.